Lock it, double bolt, sliding glass door security lock. This video will demonstrate how to install it. First, verify that all the parts are included in your kit. There will also be a short instruction manual. You'll need some basic tools, including an electric drill with a 1 8 inch and Phillips drill bit, tape measure ruler, and a pencil or marker. Choose a location on the door wherever it's most convenient for you. Many people choose about halfway between the middle of the door and the top in order to prevent small children from being able to reach it. Next, compare the two latches supplied. You'll notice one of them has a deeper offset and a little bit of a contour. Simply test them both and see which one fits best. Included in your package are two spacers. These spacers can be added to the latch to compensate for a deeper channel in the jam, allowing the latch to lay flush. Next, align the latch with the center hole being the place that you mark. Then, mark all three screw holes. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, carefully drill the holes that you have marked for the latch. These holes will accommodate the three one and one half inch screws in your kit. Also included in the kit are three masonry anchors which may be required in your installation. If using the anchors, be sure to round out the holes a bit in order to easily tap in the anchors. Swap out drill bit with the Phillips bit. If spacers are required, notice that one side is flat whereas the other side is slightly deeper. These can be used singly or in any combination to allow you to get the depth properly of the channel and have the latch lay perfectly flat and flush within that channel. Next, we'll be attaching the latch to the jam. Line up the holes of the latch with the drill holes you've made, with or without the spacers, as required. Next, you'll screw in the three screws. After you've done all three of them, ensure the latch is perfectly flat and flush. If not, this is a good time to adjust the spacers accordingly. The door should close fully as shown here. Next, take the lock, align it with the latch, and then close both the bottom and top bolts. You'll notice there's a little wiggle room between the lock and the latch where they connect. Adjust it manually to make the space near the top and near the bottom about even. If you haven't done so already, remove the front cover faceplate on the lock, which will expose the four remaining holes that need to be drilled. Mark these holes. Now, remove the lock by opening the top and the bottom bolt. And now we're ready to begin drilling. Please note, we'll be using the short 3 quarter inch screws to attach the lock, so the holes don't have to be very deep at all. In fact, if you suddenly meet with increased resistance while drilling, stop immediately, as this may mean that the drill bit has come in contact with the glass. Avoid drilling into the glass even a little because that could cause a crack or a break. Next, we'll be securing the lock to the door using the 3 quarter inch screws. Swap out our drill bit. Now, place the lock back into position and close both bolts. You'll now go ahead and screw in the four remaining screws. Again, if you feel significant resistance, it may be the glass. If that occurs, back off. With all four screws in, now let's go ahead and open up both bolts, open the door and then close it, ensuring that the alignment is still good and that you get a nice click when they both close. The last step of our installation is to replace the cover plate. Align it over the front face of the lock and then snap it into position by applying pressure to the top, middle and bottom until you hear it snap into place. So with all screws in, base plate attached, and ensuring that the door opens and closes smoothly, we've successfully installed the Locket Security Lock. Thanks for watching the video, and watch for more on other models of the Locket Security Door Series.